Greetings and salutations to you all my good chums. My name is Richard, this is Gentlemanly Gaming and welcome back to Grand Strategy Sunday and Crusader Kings 2 in real life. Last time on the show. Uh, Emir Hafiz here, the paranoid, deceitful, cruel man. Uh, got cut down to size a little bit I would say. He, um, he lost a war against this guy here who wanted to increase council power within the Abd al Qais Emirate and he achieved it. He achieved his goal. So we made a rule that because now the law says that councils are empowered, councils have a lot more power in our realm now. They didn't have it before. They had no power whatsoever. A council was decided by us and if we wanted it or not. Every decision came down to us. But he's now won that war and he has forcefully, forcefully empowered the council. Which made me think that we need to change some rules a little bit with regards to that. Because we didn't empower the council of our own benevolence. We didn't have a benevolent ruler who thought that he needs to empower the council. Or an arbitrary ruler that thought, I don't really want to do anything. I'm going to let the council deal with everything. So he's going to empower the council. No, no, no. We were forced to do it by a rebellion. And a, and a war that we lost so I decided that that means that we need to have a council now that includes our most powerful vassals powerful vassals now have to always be on the council that is the rule they always have to be there regardless of whether they like us how good they are whatever they always have to be on the council and the Grand Vizier here he's the one that won the war so he's the one that gets to be have the position of prestige right by my side, my right hand man basically. He's the guy that now basically runs the council. He has decided that who gets to be on the council if they're not powerful and he kind of controls the council a little bit. We're going to look at individual people to see if there's anything about them that suggests kind of what they want to do job wise for instance. If not it comes down to the Grand Vizier. If there's nothing that stands out that we think, well, that guy wants to do this, for instance. So this guy, for instance, he is on the council of his own right. But there's nothing about him. He's kind of insane and a little bit off the rails a little bit. So the Grand Vizier, he wants to fabricate a claim on a neighboring uh, emir, emirate. Thank you. I was, I was going to say... Uh, duchy but that's not right yeah he he wants to gain claims on this because he wants this place for his own so he has said well i want you to sabotage this realm i want you to get in there and make a little bit of trouble a little bit of damage a little bit of disaster so he's currently doing that the steward is now administering the realm because that is what the steward's gonna do because i'm not doing it anymore he's doing it basically so and other little things like that. One other thing that I thought with regards to this is we are massively over our domain like domain size. Now a lot of that is mosques that we've inherited and we hold some castles in other people's territory. So I'm pretty sure like here for instance, somewhere here. No, okay, I thought that we owned a castle in here. But not there. Any in here? No. I thought we owned castles in other people's lands. So apparently not. Anything in Esfahan? No. This one. We own something here, but we can't give that away because it's ours anyway. So, okay. Well, we definitely own some mosques. I know that for sure. There's There are mosques in here that we own. I need to go around and find them all. There's one, for instance. So I was thinking that I think the council says that we need to give those up. Mosques now need to be in the hands of the imams and the religious authorities. It's, it's not our place to be holding mosques. It's the religious authorities' duty, I think, to, ha to look after the mosques. So I think that we're going to give up our mosques. I thought that we held 
territory in other people's realms. But apparently not. So that's... So I'm going to give up the mosques and see where we're at after that. Um, but I, I, I think that if we look at this, the domain size doesn't really exist when the council is out of power. That's... It's an arbitrary thing that they put on you in this game to to gamify it a little bit. But in real life, a king or whatever, who's ever at the top, can own as much stuff as he can. And it's up to everyone else to try and bring it off of him. So there's nothing in real life that would say you need to give up land as a ruler. For instance that's that's not something that happens it's not a thing but if we look at this in this game as our checks and balances then i would think an empowered council would say you can't hold any more than five pieces of domain that is how it's going to happen or we're going to rise up and depose you so they've empowered themselves they've put themselves on the council i think it's time that they cut us back down to size with our domain size for instance Rather than looking at this as just an arbitrary gamified mechanic, we should look at it as this is a rule that the council has imparted upon us because they need to cut us down to size a little bit. They've said you've had too much power for too long. We have now empowered ourselves on the council. We are now going to dictate to you what you can and can't do. Now... I can give it away to people within my family. That's fine. They'll allow that because that I think that that's a legit thing. They can't turn around and say, I can't give it to people in my family. But they're going to say that you can't hold a mosque because you're not a religious leader. A, re a, a mosque needs to belong to a religious head, for instance. And if I had held properties in other people's lands, then they need to. I need to give those up because... And give the vassalage to the person that is the uh, emir or uh, the sheik or the um, yeah no it'll be sheik at this level higher level it'll be emir but the sheik of the of the sheikdom needs to have the vassalage of that I he can't have me underneath him because that doesn't make sense does that make sense to everyone I think it makes sense to me so what we're going to do first of all foremost today is we're going to go around we're going to give away our mosques and we're going to get ourselves down to five domains because that is the limit that they have placed upon me not the game the council it's proving a lot harder than I thought <laughs> I've given away loads um, and I still got so much more I need to give away um, but I'm struggling to find A, what I want to give away, and B, who I want to give it to. So, I'm begrudged to give away our heartlands here, which uh, we've tried to keep for so long. I can't give away the capital. Jeddah's really good as well. See, so I'm going to give this away, but I'm struggling to find people to give these things to. I've already... I can't give it to my heir, because he's already at his domain size. I can give one more to his brother, but then he's going to become really powerful. That's the that's the problem if I do that. I don't think that... Oh, yeah, struggling. Struggling a lot here. Right, there, I've done it. And, uh, yeah, we've been gutted a little bit. So, I have lost Mandesh. Uh, this place here, uh, Haliban and Bader after just getting it back. Uh, I've had to give up Jeddah to the son of, uh, no, the brother of this guy. He now owns Jeddah. Uh, I've given up all of my mosques, just I created vassals for those basically. Um, and this guy in Esfahan has taken the city that is up here. Uh, and that got me down to five. But we've been gutted. I mean, if you look at the Abd al Qais Emirate, it looks fairly impressive. But then if you look at what I own, it's this, 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 and this. That is it. That's all I own now. I don't own any more than that. That is everything. We've been, we've been absolutely stripped. Stripped of our power. And I'm pretty sure that's probably hit my men 
quite a lot. I'm, I'm, my vassals are vastly contributing more than I am now. So yeah, that's uh, that's not great. Um, the other thing, as well, that I was thinking of, is that um, they might, my council, be imploring me to have a wife. Now I don't know if they can just advise me on that, or if they can give the power to say you need to choose a wife. Because they would want to ensure the succession, nice, smooth, easy transition. But I don't know whether that's still within my power or not. I would like to think that they can just strongly advise, but I don't have to choose a wife. Maybe they put forward suggestions for marriages to say, you know, these are these are the ones that we think are of the best choice for you. But it's up to you to choose from these three, for instance. I don't I don't know. I'm not sure about that one. Because councils for sure can advise you that you need to choose a wife, you need to get married, you need to strengthen ties with the realm and things like that. Oh, speaking of which, that's other that's another thing. This guy here we are now going to form an alliance with him because we need to we need to strengthen ties um, to help protect the realm because they've seen just how weak I am, you know. So they know that we need to have more uh, alliances, more allies to help protect us a little bit more. They've seen how we've been battered recently. They've seen that we need to change the way we do things. So they're going to talk about alliances, which makes me think that they are going to say I need to choose a wife. They're going to put forward their candidates based on alliances and stuff like that. And then it's up to me to maybe choose the one I like the most. Maybe? I think that that makes sense. I'm going to leave that for this time. I don't have a lot of time to do that, though. I think that that's what they're going to suggest, actually. I think they suggest that we need to find alliances and we need to strengthen bonds and we need to find friends to help protect us. So you need to marry one of these three five women you know choose whomever you want but you need to marry one of them yeah i think i'm gonna go for that actually i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna say that so i'm gonna find the ones that give us the most alliance strength and go from there okay counter argument what about this guy wants to tie his family closer in with ours thing is, is I'm probably going to die before she comes of age but then is this is my he isn't betrothed so then he could just switch it over to that that is what I think I'm going to do first we're going to go with that he's going to try and tie his line in with us a little bit more and then we can have three more wives. They're going to use those wives for alliances. That is what they're going to do. That makes a lot of sense. He's going to want to tie his lineage in with the crown. Crown in inverted commas. A little bit more. To try and just arrest power a little bit more. You know, arrest control a little bit more. So he's going to say this is a... This is what needs to happen. And then that ties our houses in together a little bit closer. And then, you know, there won't be any more rebellions and stuff like that. So he's going to do that. And then 
And then he's going to suggest that we need alliances as well. So we're going to have three more wives based on alliances. Okay, so this girl here is going to become one of them. Because her dad is the guy from one of the places next door. And he brings 4.89 thousand troops. So, yeah, that girl is going to be one of them. Because I don't think we're going to find one that's more that's more powerful than that. So we're going to get that betrothal done. Going to find two more. This girl is going to be one of them. Because she's the only one of the dynasty. And he brings nearly 6.6 thousand troops. So uh, this girl is going to be one. And we just need to find one more. And this girl is going to be the final one. Uh, or maybe this girl. Because she looks like she's in a bit better shape than this one who's depressed. Which one do I like more? I like them both the same amount. Which one likes me more? 12... Well, both. Okay, so maybe we go for the oldest one then because he wants to get his eldest daughter married because this guy comes with 7.7. .7. So this will be our third and final one. And there you go. I think that that makes a lot of sense. I think the council comes to me with a suggestion and then I choose the the wives and these are the four i mean i could come up with loads and loads and loads and loads and loads but they're going to come with the ones that bring me the most anyway and then i need to choose and i think that that makes sense right so we've got our domain size back under control because we've given away loads of land and titles because we were forced to we've empowered the council the council has chosen wives for us and yeah, I think that that makes a lot of sense. I think that that would be something that they, they they would say, you need to get married. You have to get married. You need to produce children for the for the sake of the dynasty, for the sake of the, the realm, so to speak. And uh, yeah, he's used this chance, this opportunity to uh, snuggle in a little bit more power for him, you know? I, uh, I think that that makes a lot of sense. I think that that... In my head, that makes a lot of sense anyway. Let me know what you think uh, in the comments. If you disagree, let me know. Okay, here come all of the marriages. Uh, I reject your insulting suggestion. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, why did it say yes when I... Okay. I reject. Okay, I'm guessing that's because... Uh... You're right, you've accepted the alliance. Yeah, I'm guessing that's because she's become my new first wife. So now the other ones are saying, no way, that that is not happening. Um, okay, so they've all rejected those. Yeah, okay, that makes sense because I think that they were all thinking they were going to be the number one wife and now that they're not the number one wife, they're going to be like, <laughs> no, that ain't happening. So, uh, okay, I need to do all of that again, it seems. Okay, so this woman here is the one that I found whose lease brings the most. Uh, he has two. So you're... 20 and you're 22 so they're both not terrible she's probably smarter so i like her six and i like her 14 okay so i'm gonna pick this one because they've come to me and said one of these two daughters which one's it gonna be and i've gone with okay i want this one so I am going to arrange the marriage there. They're going to say yes. Hopefully they actually do say yes this time. So need to find two more again. Okay, here's another one. So we can either choose this woman. Um, who is temperate, arbitrary, brawny, shrewd and club-footed. Uh, I don't like her greatly. Or... We can choose 
the uh, sister of this guy who is deceitful, kind, cynical, homosexual, and a thrifty clerk. But I like her more. So I'm going to go for this one here as well. So there we go. And then just need one more. And then finally this guy comes with 1.15. And he has three daughters. I think they're all available. 43 and 19. Yeah. So uh, which one do I like the most? We have uh, Sintanisa. Uh, she is paranoid, greedy, wrathful, diligent and a charismatic negotiator. We like her three. Her sister is deceitful, cynical, greedy, ambitious, scholarly theologian. And we like her six, so she's in the lead at the moment. And the youngest is cynical, chaste, greedy, sturdy, and a skilled tactician. And we don't like her that much at all. So we are going to choose this one here. And we are going to arrange that marriage as well so there you go so hopefully that's three new wives that should be coming through uh, i accept your suggestion there we go so there's one we're going to form that oh he doesn't want to form an alliance son of a bitch that was the whole reason for the marriage so you will form the alliance that's fine uh there should be one more yep and you will form the alliance that's good so it's actually the lowest one i think that uh didn't accept the proposal uh you accept my proposal okay so that's two alliances sorted out but one of them didn't why have you become my first wife you are supposed to be my first wife but I'm guessing you can't until I'm actually married to you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you were supposed to come with the alliance. And if you don't want to form that alliance... Why doesn't he want to form the alliance? base reluctance of three so maybe if we get his opinion up a little bit oh yeah we need to do that anyway don't we we need to um yeah uh send you that anyway right now he'll do the alliance anyway so that's fine we needed to do that anyway who else so you and you need to be given that as well the dowry that's that's the word i was looking for and you need to be given uh not you uh your i'm guessing it's your brother yeah you need to be given the dowry as well okay there we go so uh, three new wives, one new betrothal, three new alliances. So the realm is a little bit more secure now. That is exactly what the council wanted to do. And dowries paid out, opinions all good, everything's great. So there we go. And the thing is, is yeah, probably going to start um, having some children now. So we're probably going to have a new heir. This kid probably isn't going to be my heir anymore, but... We will uh, wait and see how that goes. What else is going on? I think I'm still trying to kill... Yeah, I'm still trying to kill this guy at the moment, aren't I? Because, yeah, I hate him. Um, I'm just spying on him as well. Because I can't get the um, spy master involved. Because the spy master's on side with him. So, wouldn't be able to get him involved anyway. So, we're just trying to bump this guy off. Because this is the guy... This is the guy that ruined everything that I hate that now has power over me. I don't hate him, but I do hate him. It's technically, I, I, I just, I, I, I still hate him, um, even in, uh, yeah, paranoid rules. So I do hate this guy and I want him gone because how dare he do what he did to me. 
So my wife's only just got here and people are trying to kill her already. This is indeed worrying. Yeah. I mean, I don't like her. Because, obviously, paranoid. So, maybe I don't care if people try to kill her, but that is going to suck because I'm going to have to go and try and find another alliance again. Would I want to send her into hiding? I don't like her, so I don't necessarily care that people are trying to kill her. But I, also, I don't like her, so I probably wouldn't want her around me anyway. So I think I'm happy, yeah, to send her into hiding. Because I don't really care anyway. Yeah, I think that that makes sense. Because I, I don't want her around me anyway. Because I don't, uh, I don't particularly like her. So sending her into hiding, I think, makes a lot of sense. Oh, a lot of stuff has just kicked off there. So, one of my counsellors died. Oh, him! He died! He is gone. So, that... has changed a lot. So, he... his son... needs to come on to the council. Because he's going to be a powerful vassal. Also, I think that it makes sense that he would have... Um, put into place contingencies to make sure that his son takes up the mantle and the power because I'm in, I'm engaged to his daughter as well. So yeah, I think that that makes sense that he would have made sure that there was a smooth transition of power, you know, in in that regard. I think that he would have made that the case. Um I think that, yeah, he needs to become the designated regent as well. He's also going to become the chief architect. He's going to take over basically all of his father's um, positions of, of, of honour and of power. I think that that makes sense. But what do we want him to do? What kind of guy is he? Proud, craven, temperate. And a scholarly theologian. Okay. He doesn't want stuff. He has just been forced into stuff. So he won't want to sow dissent. I don't think he'll want to fabricate claims now either. Improve diplomatic relations. Or just general statecraft anyway i mean he's not very good he's gonna he's gonna be really bad at this job anyway hmm scholarly theologian makes me think that he'll want to travel around he's gonna want to go to all the Big centers of learning, maybe? Yeah, I think that that makes more sense than anything. So the first thing he's going to do is he is going to go to Alexandria to go and uh, visit the, uh, the, 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 the famous place of that. Uh, what else are you... Yeah, you're not really into anything. So... I think that he's happy to keep all this to say. Oh no, scholarly theologian. I think he'll want people to study stuff, won't he? Yeah. I think he's going to say no you 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 need to study stuff instead. I want to I want to yeah, we should all be studying. 
because I'm a scholarly theologian. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. That's fine. Uh, what else happened? Right, you wanted to invite me to a plot on the Arabian Empire. Oh, I don't like you, and I love you way less than I like him. So, I'm going to decline that. So, no, we don't want to do that. Um, what else do we want to do now as well? Do I... Do I now want to take it out on his son? Do I ha let's see if I do I have any threats first of all no threats known plot Parand is my kinswoman I don't like either of you so I don't think I care about that Yeah, so do I want to take it out on his son? I think the sins of the father and all that? I, d I don't know. Am I in line to get any of these back? Um, no, it doesn't look like it. So I don't want any out of the way to get them back. But I'd have to give them away anyway, wouldn't I? Because the council would force me to. Do I want to start? I think I do. I think if I get rid of this guy... Well... I'm going to offer a non-aggression pack, but it's not its not between... It's not me offering it to him. He's offering it to me. Well, he's not offering He's saying there's going to be a non-aggression pact. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for you. Because if I get you out of the way... Then I can... Put someone. I can put a yes man in there before the council has time to react, and then I get a little bit more control over the council again. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I think that that's a good plot. That's a good way to go forward. That's another thing I just thought of as well. I think that they're going to force me to come out, aren't they? Because I think that they're going to say you can't stay locked up in your... See, the thing is, 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 because this has only recently just happened, the court and the council are very, very aware that Emir Hafiz is weak and doesn't have the power. So they can basically bully this guy into doing what they want him to do. I think as time goes on and it becomes more normalized, then we get back into the situation again where you have counselors who are a little bit more like, well, he's the king. He can do what he wants. Not king, but you know what I mean. He can do what he wants to do. He's the guy in charge. Because that usually happens. If you look at Magna Carta, for instance, as soon as Magna Carta was done, they knew that they had the power and boom, 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 we can push through what we want to do. You have to do this. This is what you have to do. And then, like, as that was renewed and things like that, uh, eventually over time, kings and rule the, the, uh, of the country started thinking, well, I'm 
have divine right and people start thinking you know what he probably does have divine right and, and then we get into a situation again way later on down the line where you have kings who think that they have all of the power and councillors who think that they do and they kind of forget about that because as, as over time power comes from power for instance Hafiz is weak right now he is a weak ruler he lost his war against his own people he is weak he doesn't have the same amount of power as his levies do his levies out uh, his vassals even outnumber him he is weak he was forced to give up land he was forced to give up titles he was forced to give up everything he is weak he doesn't have power he is being told what he has to do right now hence why he has wives and so on and so forth because he's being told he has to do this so yeah they are going to force him out into the world he can't stay shut behind his gates anymore he is not allowed that is an option that has been taken away from him he now has to get out into the world and do something hence why even more he wants to get rid of this guy because he wants to put someone in his council that he can start swaying the council back to his way of thinking he needs to get the power back he needs to get the handle handle on the reins again so yeah that's Yep, they've forced him out of hiding. He has to join the world of the living again, which means I'm about to go into the um, Caliph. I'm about to go where he is, I'm sure. Um, can't have a alliance with you because you're a vassal of mine. Uh, yeah, I know. That's why I did turn my attention somewhere else. Right, he hasn't gone... Where am I? Yeah, no, I'm still in my own realm. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I I'm uh, I'm I'm I haven't gone. Uh, oh no, I'm in my own realm, improving relations for my caliph, aren't I? Yeah. So that's what's happening now. Um, because I'm back in my caliph service again, aren't I? Because I am. On his council, I'm the Grand Vizier, yeah. So, yeah. They've forced me out into the world, and it is what I must do. I watched from the shadows as my spy master, Sheik Arif, surreptitiously marked a spot on the wall. So this is um, the same thing again. Okay, so I don't like him anyway. So, okay, so I've changed my target. I'm going to start spying on him instead. Eavesdropping from a secret passage in the halls, I overheard my faithless spy master Arif talking to another conspirator. They are plotting to kill Prince Ubiad of the Umiad Empire. Um, yeah, I can arrest him. Uh, no, I'm going to arrest him because that is exactly the kind of thing I would do, paranoid person. But the problem is, is that he was on my council. So, I need to appoint a new councillor. But the other thing is as well, is that he's now in my dungeon. I don't think that they're going to let me strip his title. No, it's just going to... I banish him. Who's his his heir? He's just uh, his kid, isn't it? It's his son, yeah. Hmm, this is a difficult one because I don't like him, so obviously I want him out of the way. I'm not going to gain anything from his death. It wasn't anything in my realm that he was planning on doing. So the council is going to be a little bit like, well, it's nothing to do with you. Maybe put him under house arrest? I think put him under house arrest. Kind of 
See, I could banish him. Banishing a vassal ruler for no valid reason is seen as tyrannical. Okay, so they, they deem that I don't have a reason to do that. Yeah, I think that they're going to say, you can't do anything. And because the council's in power now, and because he is a powerful vassal, they're going to say, he can't stay in your dungeon, he has to go under house arrest. So he's going to go under house Because at the moment as well, it's my word versus his. So I need to try and... compromise with them so yeah I've, I've 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 placed him under house arrest yeah i i think that that makes the most sense logically see i'm cruel so i'd want to hurt him but i can't get away with that so compromise is the only way around that yeah i have to compromise with him now i need a new spy master but i don't have any powerful vassals Do I have the power to put on who I want to? I still don't think I do. The, the council is still very much loaded in their favour, isn't it? So they're going to choose someone that they think should go in, I think. Which means this guy's the most powerful. But we need we need traits that match as well i think just craven cruel slothful gregarious mm, no proud proud but that doesn't necessarily mean anything patient Temperate and temperate. Ambitious and deceitful. That's not great on my behalf. Plus, I'm pretty sure, yeah, he, he holds a claim on me. So he's going to want me dead. But. He's deceitful, so he's going to wiggle his way on there. And he's temperate. So, yeah, okay. You are going to come in as my new spy master. That's not going to help me at all. What are you? You're deceitful, so yeah, you're going to want to scheme and things, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, so you do what you want to do, because you can turn around and say, Oh yeah, I am totally studying, but he's not. He's uh, he's doing what he wants to do. Bearing, bearing, speaking of which, you need to research technology here. Uh, and you're already doing it, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, and this guy's going to say that he is, but he's not. Because he's deceitful and ambitious. He's going to be working towards his own ends. Yeah, okay. That's cool. That all works out pretty well for me. I think I'm happy with those decisions. What can I possibly do to endear Nazgul to me? Am I trying to... Oh, right. I don't need to be doing that anymore. Yeah. Because uh, I don't like you enough. Uh, I don't have time for her. Yeah, okay. I think that was when I was hoping that I could make someone a wife. But I don't think that that really matters anymore. Because I can't um, do anything with regards to that anyway now because I'm all full up on the wife situation so yeah okay so I didn't need to sway her anymore okay we have a we have a child coming uh, I'm paranoid so of course I'm gonna be not thinking it's my child uh, my first wife Keelima tells me she's pregnant but that can't be right can it well done again pregnant this age this is usually too old in Crusader Kings 2 okay but yeah so uh, of course I'm going to doubt it because I am paranoid. So, yeah, I'm a paranoid person. Of course I would. I fought it over and I cannot be the father of my first wife, of course, because, uh, yeah, I'm, of course I'm going to think that. Um, I don't know, is she... 
I don't think she, there's any, not anything in here that suggests that she would, but I, I, of course I'm gonna, yeah, because I wouldn't trust her. So yeah, I'm gonna hire someone to find out and then we're gonna see what is what. But again, it's gonna be my word versus there. The maid I hired to gain my first wife Kimmy's confidence has not found anything at all suspicious about her pregnancy. Um, hire more spies, yeah, that seems like the best response that I would do. Um, because I'm not going to take her word for it either. I'm not going to confront my wife about it. The spies I hired at great expense to discover anything suspicious about my first wife, Camille, and her pregnancy have failed to turn up anything at all. I guess the child must be mine then? Uh, my opinion is going to go down of her because I have suspected adultery. Because, yeah, there's no way that I'm going to believe that this kid's mine regardless. Because, yeah, paranoid. So, yeah, I'm never going to believe that this kid is mine. That's just how it goes uh, I, I think that that went down the right path at all um i think that we chose the right decisions there and yeah i don't think that she did cheat on me I, there's nothing in her nature that suggests that she would but yeah uh there's no way i'm gonna trust her because i just don't trust people a large merchant caravan from distant lands has arrived at the gates of your stronghold. Their leader, a jovial man of massive girth, pleads with you in a strange accent to grant them shelter for the, from the elements for the night. No, these peddlers may sleep in the ditch for all I care. Because, I, yeah, paranoid merchants, I'm not, strangers are not coming into my land. It occurred to me that my wife is feeling somewhat gloomy as of late. The burden of her unborn child is surely causing some humoral unbalance that is affecting her mood. Yeah, I don't like her and I don't think the child is mine. So yeah, I'm sure she'll be fine. I'm not getting involved in that at all. Yeah, I'm not buying her gifts and things like that because uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just not believing that she is faithful. Uh, and I have a son. My son is born. You have a new heir if your player dies. Hafiz, who is my son, he's slow. So we, we're going to have our first slow uh, heir, it seems. But uh, yeah, I don't believe that this kid is mine anyway. Uh, we want to call him Hafiz after me. But if I don't think that he's mine... Would I do that? Hmm, yeah, I don't think that the kid is mine. So I don't think that I would name him after me. I think just some random name. Burhanadin. Yep, there you go. That's fine. He is going to be called Burhanadin. And he is a slow child. Uh, but yeah, we have a we have a new heir. Uh, my father-in-law just died, so now I need to see who is in charge of his realm. Did it slip out of his? Who is in charge of it now? Not you, because you're the whole thing. No. So it is him. Okay. But he's not going to... Yeah, I don't have a... So I've lost the alliance there now because he didn't have a son. Yeah, so he has now lost that realm so i don't have the alliance there anymore so that's one alliance down which kind of sucks does my son does he have claims to it i wonder doesn't say that he has anything at the moment but i don't know if maybe he's gonna have a claim to that or i'm imagining it probably can't go down through the female line anyway can it i imagine so i don't think he would have a claim on it Okay, we've lost another council member. Also, another bloody revolt's broken out, so they're going to start trying to bloody siege me again. But the thing is, he's also he's trying to fight for independence. So the, that makes the caliph even weaker again. 
So he's getting weaker and weaker and weaker. Plus, with regards to the sieging, I don't really care because this isn't my land around here anymore. So why would I care? But yes, we have lost a councillor, the marshal. So you're still in charge. You're not really fighty in any way. So who's the most powerful? You. But again, complementing traits. Uh, he's gregarious, which would make me think that he's probably charismatic. And he's also just, which makes me think that you might like him. But let's see if there's anyone else. Uh, humble, kind, stubborn, shy. Okay. Humble and kind would probably like make you well liked, wouldn't it? Mm. You kind as well and diligent, but you're uncouth, which makes people would not like you. Diligent and stubborn. See, you're stubborn as well, which makes you think that people might go off of you a little bit. Arbitrary, diligent, trusting, brawny. Greedy, wrathful, humble. Humble, erudite, trusting and diligent. Yeah, I think you're the man. you would you scholarly theologian temperate craven and proud would you know proud and charismatic, yeah, and plus you're a reader, so scholarly theologian, yeah, okay, yeah, I'm going to go for you, I think that that makes more sense, um, and he's going to ask you to, yep, just uh, read up and research cultural tech, because, you know, we both like reading, don't we, so, uh, yeah, now I need to see what goes on with this revolt, I, I have a feeling that um, they're going to lose, probably, He's got 10,000 men. How much have you got now? Oh, yeah, they're not. They're going to win. Which means that you're going to lose even more power. Which means after that, I think it's pretty much just... Me, right? No, you're still around. But you've lost a lot of stuff. Seems to be a revolt here. So you're trying to join the Seljuks. This area is broken away. Didn't this have a piece of land that was mine? Or... So, I mean, it's not mine anymore. No, it's that one, isn't it? Yeah. So it's pretty much just you and you and me left after that. Yeah, the, the, the Caliph is looking in very, very bad shape. A noble by the name of Li Na came to court today seeking asylum. He claims to have escaped from China after the rest of his family was executed on orders of the Emperor. Oh great Emir, your merciful nature is known across the land. I implore you to grant my refuge. It would be an untold kindness. I have a very strong feeling that you're not going to be coming in. Yeah, you're not coming in. Um, I could let you know that's just going to increase opinion you're not going to give me money uh, yeah no you're you're not staying here because um, yeah paranoid person doesn't want you staying here um, they're sieging down Beda like I figured they would but again these aren't this isn't my land so I don't really care so 
To hell with it. Is this a separate kingdom now? Yeah. This used to all be part of Yemen. Don't know what happened there. But fair enough. Uh, so yeah, they've, they've seized down Mandesh. Um, but yeah, I don't... Uh, no, Beda. Beda, part of Mandesh, isn't it? Yeah, but I don't care because it's not my realm anymore. So screw them. My mother, Pena, has offered to travel to the Yuan Empire on a mission to bring glory to the Abd al Kays Emirate. Please, my lord, she says, let a humble servant strengthen your relations with the Emperor of the Yuan Empire. Now, I like my mum a lot. Does that mean that I'd want to keep her with me or that I'd be happy for her to go and do something? I think it's I'd want to keep her by my side, right? And let someone else go. Yeah, because I don't like you, right? No. You're the one I like the least. Yeah, I think I'm going to send her instead. Because I think that I'd want to keep my mum close to me. Because she's the one I trust the most. Yeah, also, are people still trying to kill you? Because I could probably bring you out of hiding now, right? Not that I necessarily want to, but... Yeah, I don't know. Well, maybe maybe I'd just want to leave you there, because I don't particularly like you anyway, so... Yeah, screw it. You can stay and hide him for the time being. Yagana Agilen, who I thought you were in... I thought I sent you off to China, didn't I? Uh, has Oh, has finally returned from the Yuan Empire. However, when asked about her adventures, she just mutters mostly about how there was always people, too much people, and she still has trouble hearing herself think. Are you a... Uh... No, you're not a... Shy person, but there is a chance. I should have sent someone else... Lose 200 grace with the Yuan Empire. I don't really care about that. Uh, she gains the trait shy. 25% chance she becomes depressed. Nope, but she is now shy. Okay, so she obviously hated that. Um, and yeah, this uh, rebellion here. Uh, oh, and she's just got back and she's pregnant. Now, surely that I should be... Surely this one should be the one I should be concerned about right she's just gone to china she's come back from china depressed basically saying that she hated it and now we find out that she's pregnant that to me sounds like a little bit of history repeating if you've been watching this series and this is the one that i definitely should be thinking about isn't mine but apparently i'm just going to accept it but i really don't think that i should but Okay, fair enough. Uh, okay, I'm going to get a military trait. One day you'll have to specialise this because I'm a commander with the Abbasids, obviously, and now I'm not in hiding. I have to go and do that. One day you'll have to specialise. I hear the voice of my old quartermaster in my head. As I look out at the battlefield and the desert of Asir, the, seal, the sight fills me with resolve. I need to find a focus for future battles, but what will it be? Uh, okay, I'm in a desert... But, I'm also a tough soldier, so I could go for heavy infantry. Hmm, heavy infantry or desert terrain. Could be either. You know what, I'm going to flip a coin for this one because I think it could be either one, to be honest with you. Okay, heads it's desert terrain, tails it is heavy infantry, and it is heads. So we are going to master desert terrain, which is actually very, very helpful where we live, to be honest with you, because it's all pretty much deserts around here. So, uh, yay, that's actually beneficial for me. Okay, my court physician... 
Sheikh Alim has suggested that I buy him some exotic herbs and other rare ingredients so that he can mix advanced drafts and pilot poultices. This is the guy I don't like, the guy that's take, uh, whose father took over my kingdom, basically. Um, and now he's saying he made himself my court physician as well because he was like the only one qualified in the realm to do it once my other one died and now he's saying he wants to buy exotic herbs and rare ingredients no no I'm not going to buy you new stuff because paranoid person thinks you're trying to kill me you want to you want to put together some sort of new poison that you found out about don't you so no that isn't happening my good friend uh, that is not happening uh, wedding proposal the revolt wants to marry yeah i'm not you're you're in revolt i'm not gonna no no that's not happening uh i'm not gonna tie myself through marriage through the revolt uh against the caliph who i still um all oh, opinions going down a lot okay as soon as it hits 25 we're into mere territory right we're into no we're into dislike territory aren't we so if it hits 25 we don't like him anymore so um might be getting there soon i find myself lying in bed all day the act of getting up almost as difficult as that of ruling food tastes bland and my time spent with friends doesn't bring the joy it once did i don't really understand why but i hate my life i can understand why you'd feel that way it's not been a great few years for you, has it? So, he has now become uh, depressed. Hafiz has now become depressed, which means that we are back on a counter. Um, no. Uh, we're back on a counter that we were on previously. We haven't been on that counter for a long time. But we are back on the counter again. I can understand why you've been depressed. You were humiliated, cut down to size, demasculated. You think your son isn't your son. You think that your wife has cheated on you. You've been forced to come out of hiding when all you wanted to do was stay in your room all day and play the computer. I get it, man. I get why you might want to be depressed. And that puts us back on the counter that um yeah enough um negative events within his lifestyle and then we start looking at the uh possibility of self-deleting ourselves uh yeah that becomes that starts becoming more of a thing first the first three negative events are free beyond that it starts becoming a coin flip to see whether we want to take ourselves off the census or not. But uh, yeah, there you go. Oh, poor Hafiz. You've, um, you didn't quite live up to the, to the legends of the men that have come before you. And I think that your slow son probably isn't going to take up that mantle again either, is he? So, poor guy. Well, on that note. We'll leave it here for this week. Will Emir Hafiz uh, survive much longer in this world with depression? I'm not too sure about that. We will have to wait and see. I want to thank you for joining me today. I certainly hope that you join me again next time. But until then, I bid you all adieu, a good day, and a massive GG to you all. This has been a Rich Tea Entertainment production. If you like this episode, please like and subscribe. If you wish to see some more videos, please click down below.